Local 7 and 103.7 WTIB present Talk of the Town with Henry Hinton. News, sports, and community information, and everything that's going on around town. Now, with Talk of the Town, here's your host, Henry Hinton. Hey, ho, 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 ho. hey, ho, welcome in. It's uh, Talk of the Town, uh, hour number two, and uh, I've got my act together. I'm, I'm a little sharper. I'm a little brighter. I'm a little right. I'm on the edge right now, right on the edge. Uh, last, last hour, not so much on the edge. Right now, I'm on the edge. I'm sharper now. Lindsay, oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have a great hour last hour. It was rough. It was, it was a little rough. on the rough side. <laughs> <laughs> and the but thing we have about it was, I, I got up early. I got up at four thirty, and uh, I was prepared. But then I got in here, my computer wasn't working. And the, the, you know, one, one thing went to another, and it got worse and worse. But now it's good. Now I'm good. This is going to be a good hour. Okay. Because I'm good enough. I'm smart enough. You is pretty. You and, is smart. And dog. <laughs> <laughs> Doggone it, people like me. Stuart, Doggone it. Eight oh, <laughs> Stuart Smalley, remember that? 805, and um, a lot of snow, a lot of ice. Be careful, folks. Don't want anybody to get hurt out there this morning. And there is a uh, there are some treacherous driving conditions. Not so mm-hmm. bad here in Greenville. I came to work uh, quarter to seven, and it was fine. I mean, not fine. I mean, there were some slick spots. But yeah, be j- careful. J- just slick spots in town. I, I imagine that outside of town, mm. it's not good. Yeah. I would if you live so. in the country or up in the northeast, uh, or nor- northeast of here, uh, we're getting reports of anywhere from two to three inches of snow up from like Windsor to Elizabeth City. Burr. And uh, so if you've got to go to work up there, you need to be very, very careful. You need to be careful anywhere this morning. There are going to be some wrecks. Mm. And you know why? Because people drive too fast in it. You have to slow down. Yeah. Slow down. Get, leave early. Get there early. That's that's my best advice to you this morning. Today is the 22nd day of uh, January. Birthdays today. You got him, Coach? Steve Perry of Journey oh. is 65. Wow. Should have been gone. No. Made you feel it should have been gone. What a voice. After all your words of Steve. This guy's one of my favorites. I love Steve Perry. This is good, right? Must have been a dreamer. Dreamer. He's 65 today. Must have been someone else. Do you like this? I do. Yeah. do you? So your age, your 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 generation? Well, I was Still raised on stuff like this, Tom Petty. Like, yeah. this is stuff I was raised on. This is one of the great songs of the 80s right here. Crank it up, Coach. Oh, Sherry by Steve Perry. Oh, Sherry. All right. Uh, 65 years old today. Uh, happy birthday. And, you know, I'm sad that he's not performing much anymore. He, uh, he got hurt. Uh, you know, the word is he's all, he had a back injury or something like that, and he left the group, and uh, so now he doesn't tour with Journey anymore. Although I was on the uh, Internet the other night looking for him on YouTube, and the, he recently apparently uh, performed with the new singer, the little Asian kid. From uh, he's, There's a Filipino kid that is now the lead singer of, of uh, Journey who's really good, but he's not Steve Perry. Mm. But they did a song together, apparently. Oh, so Yeah, it was, okay. pretty, it was pretty good. That's cool. Uh, Diane Lane, the actress, is uh, 49 today. She is... Um, wow. Yeah. Her, I like her. Her big movie was uh, Unfaithful with Richard Gere. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. There were some scenes in that movie. Have mercy. Yeah. There were some scenes in that movie. <laughs> to be yeah. fair, she played in other things, but... Yeah. Yeah. That movie there, she was... <laughs> yeah. um, the TV chef Guy Fieri is uh, 46 today. He's the uh, diners, drive-ins, and whatever on the Food Channel, isn't he? I don't. Want the guy that with the uh, with the, the spiky white hair. Oh, I do yeah. know who that is. Yeah. Okay. Right, yeah. I don't watch the Food Channel. It makes me want to eat. <laughs> so. I feel your pain. <laughs> I feel your pain. Uh, we're going to qualify somebody to win the kitchen here in a few minutes. A $20,000 kitchen remodeling job. Stand by. Your chance to win. Also, this hour, the puppet lady. Do you know the puppet lady? The puppet lady. This lady is very, very talented. And my she actually does a, a summer camp. Oh. 
And my four-year-old uh, grandson went to her summer camp, and it was awesome. That's fun. Yeah, she does a lot of uh, she does a lot of uh, great shows. She's got a show coming up. If you've got children and green, and you live in the Greenville area, you've never seen the Puppet Lady. She really does some great educational things for kids. Is she bringing a puppet today? Uh, I bet she does. Oh, fuck. I don't know. She okay. may. She may not. Okay. I've had her on the show before, but she's got. I think she's got a show Saturday, which will be a good day if that's right, because she's got. Um, it's going to be cold and nothing mm -hmm. to do, and the kids are looking for something to do. Yeah. And so the puppet lady's got something coming up, and we're going to promote that for her. She's going to be on with us here in about uh, 15, 20 minutes. Fun. Uh, so if you've got children, if, you, if you're not familiar with the pup, she's look. Here's the thing: she's got, she's got DVDs. I mean, one of the things that I do when my, when my uh, grandson's at my house and he gets bored, I mean, we we put on some of her DVDs. She's done some really neat songs and those kind of things. So, and she's right here in Greenville. So the puppet lady will be with us this morning. And uh, also, I'm going to do a laugh track here in a minute because I didn't I mistimed it last hour, but I'm going to play it because it's funny. Okay. This was interesting to me. One of the people that um, the Republican Party has held up as one of the future stars of the party is um, Bob McDonald, who was the ma was the governor of Virginia. And uh, I was just kind of cruising the internet this morning about uh, five o'clock, and I, I I didn't realize that this happened. He and his wife and he were indicted yesterday in Richmond. That's Former awesome. Virginia Governor Bob McDonald indicted yesterday on federal corruption charges, accusing the couple of accepting tens of thousands of dollars in loans. Shopping sprees, money for their daughter's wedding, even a joyride in a Ferrari from the owner of a company that makes health supplements. That just makes me sad. Wow. That just makes me sad. Why do these politicians do these? And, of course, he's, he's saying he's innocent. Right. He had a press conference in Richmond last night. He says, I did nothing illegal for Mr. Williams in exchange for what I believed was his personal friendship and generosity said McDonald, who was flanked by his wife, daughter, and son-in-laws. He read from prepared remarks. McDonald vowed to use every resource and available to fight the charges. But uh, it's coming out now that um, apparently when he went into office that, uh, that, that he and his wife had like massive amounts of credit card debt. So you can't, and you know, if you look at the guy, he looks like a million dollars. Mm. You just can't tell by looking at people, can you? No. And I'm not saying he's guilty because he deserves his day in court, but it just makes, it just makes all politicians look crooked. You know, it just gives everybody the sense that, yeah, I knew it. They're all crooked. Mm -hmm. And see, I don't think they're all crooked, but I do think a lot of them are. And I'm really surprised that, that this is happening to him. I just... Just, uh, yeah, sad. Ronnie? Rhonda. Rhonda. <laughs> Rhonda's on the phone. Good morning, Rhonda. You're on Talk of the Town. How are you? I'm great. Two things I'd like to point out about Bob McDonald. Yeah. First of all, an indictment is not a conviction. Correct. Um, we have a habit of letting the media lead us around and I love the media, I study journalism, believe me, I love talk radio. But he has not been convicted. I'd like to point out that Tom DeLay went through an incredible battle and was not convicted. That's Ted correct. Steven, even though some of the things seemed reprehensible and I don't like the way Ted Stevens collect, uh, conducted his office, he was never convicted, but he was indicted. Um, who was a major beneficiary of Bob McDonald's um, fall from grace, Terry McAuliffe. Um, I honestly believe that the hype around Bob McDonald's You think it's political? Potential, I feel, you know, I don't know, and I wish, I wish with all my heart and soul that we could have some States people again instead of politicians, and when they go into office, the temptations of all the glitter would not be there, but I live in the real world. The beneficiary of all the hype around Bob McDonald was Terry McAuliffe. Yep. 
a really high quality person, Ken Cuccinelli, should have been elected, in my opinion, to be governor of the state of Virginia. But Terry McAuliffe got in there to a large degree, I believe, or a small degree. He missed being elected governor by mere points. And some of it had to do with the negative publicity about the potential indictment of Bob McDonald. Now, Rhonda, do you, do you have a specific interest in the, the Virginia politics or this just... No. Just, you're, no just, you're just I interested am. in the fact that... Um, that, that 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 this has happened and you're following it very closely because you're uh, you're you're a news junkie. What's the deal? Well, I'm I don't have any interest in Virginia politics. I am so grateful to live in the state of North Carolina. Um, I can't tell you how proud I am of the current leadership in our state. Um, I totally it agree just with makes that. Makes me sad to see the uh, games that are being played throughout this whole country, putting these um, people in place to prepare for Hillary Clinton's run for president. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it breaks my heart to see what's being done to my country. Um, I live in Edenton, and I was so happy to hear yesterday that we have a new business that is going to choose to locate here, bringing in potentially 32 jobs that may have Incomes of sixty thousand dollars a year plus benefits. Good. Do what? What is? What is? What is that? What is that? I, I didn't hear about that. Um. I think. Oh gosh, I have it on my email, uh, but I think the company is SMA. It's a medical. It's a company that basically apparently helps medical community mm -hmm. connect with getting like immediate funding and things that they need to operate efficiently. Right. But there was a press release. And uh, one of my friends here emailed it to me last night, and I just emailed back to him, great news. If this all materializes, I will be just so excited because this just goes to show what happens when you have quality leadership in the governorship in a state that really has a desire. And, you know, I will, I will say this. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't have any opinion about Bob McDonald. Uh, I, I just know what I know about him through the media. Um, well, but but that, I, I, I want to I say this. My wife and I were talking about this this morning, early this morning. And, and uh, you know, we're fortunate to uh, know um, uh, some of the um, leaders in the state right now. Uh, on a personal level, and 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 we, she she made the comment to me this morning how uh, this would never happen <laughs> with the leadership here in North Carolina because you know the people that we've got in leadership here, I really believe are some of the most quality human beings that we've ever had leading the state of North Carolina. Now a lot of Democrats don't agree with what they're doing. But in terms of uh, if you get to know uh, people like Phil Berger and Tom Tillis and Pat McCrory, you won't question their motivations and you won't question their integrity. And so uh, we have Bob Steinberg here. Bob, Bob's, a, Bob's another. Bob's terrific. And when you meet him and you know what he's been doing, he this man has integrity over the yeah. top. And I am so proud to have worked hard for the Republican Party to get him elected here. In fact, yep. I received an email invitation to go to two receptions that Pat McCrory was having this week. I think one in Charlotte, one in Wilmington. But I don't have the financial resources to get into that kind of politics. <laughs> but I am seriously considering running for the school board here in Edenton this year simply because I think it's time for those of us who feel that we can do a little bit of something to sort of come out of the woodwork and get more involved in our local communities. Um, well, there's a lot of good stuff happening. There's a lot of good stuff happening in North Carolina, uh, Rhonda. There's there no is. doubt about it. Yeah. There is. We got to I run. I appreciate that phone call. That was good, good, uh, good comments. We appreciate all your input and uh, run, run, Rhonda, run. <laughs> run, run, reindeer, right? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thanks for the call. Interesting phone call. 818. We got to get our news headlines in. Let's do the laugh track, shall we? We missed the laugh track. We don't ever do a laugh track at this time. Let's do one. We got a funny laugh track this morning, So, and I mistimed it last hour. So um, Alonzo Baden 
on why he hates stupid people. I don't know if stupidity is rising or if I'm just noticing it more, man, but just dealing with stupid people is getting on my nerves, okay? There are certain jobs that should have a minimum education requirement, all right? I'm not saying everyone needs to go to college, but there, for example, if you work behind a cash register, then your ass should be able to count to 10, okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. You know, I bought something, right? It's like 1403, you know, so I give them a 20 and they punch it in the register, you know, and it's automated. The register tells them how much change then I give her three cents <laughs> manager on register 12 <laughs> there's some people that have stupid jobs but it's okay you can't really get mad because you know they say water seeks its own level they're in the right job you know I see people at gas stations yelling at the guy in a little glass booth you know, but when you think about it, how smart could this guy be? For all we know, that glass is to protect us from his ass. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Alonzo Bodden this morning, the uh, comedian on the laugh track. All right, 20 after 8. Be careful, everybody. Slipping and sliding to work this morning on Wednesday. we got to get a break in. Lindsey Fry with news headlines from WITN coming up next. Also, a visit from the puppet lady and her show this weekend we're going to talk about that for your kids there's something to do for your kids this weekend i think if you've not seen the puppet lady uh trust me uh i have she's terrific and she's got a show coming up we'll talk about that and still to come this hour between now and nine o'clock your chance to qualify to win that kitchen worth twenty thousand dollars plus and win a free ticket to home fest 14 as we roll through uh, wednesday we'll be right back stay with us if you've been seriously injured on the job you may need an attorney to help you. The workers' compensation laws in our state are very complicated, and you need to know your rights. The law firm of Hardy & Hardy will be glad to help you with your workers' compensation claim. Attorneys Wayne and Charles Hardy will explain the laws and your rights to you, and they will handle your case from start to finish. If you've been injured in an accident, count on Hardy & Hardy. Protecting the rights of the seriously injured. Many people in eastern North Carolina suffer from diabetes. The question is, can the disease be managed before it causes harm? Are there lifestyle changes that can help prevent it in the first place? And can a health system really make a difference? At Vident Health, we're empowering people with tools and resources to detect and manage chronic disease. Can diabetes education and management help members of your family lead healthier lives? The answer is definitely yes. Pepsi, born here, raised by Panthers fans everywhere. Raise your Pepsi for a chance to win the ultimate fan experience. See specially marked 18 packs or visit PepsiRaisedHere.com to learn more. Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage Company will deliver a storage unit to your home or business today. Stallings Storage is the only local company providing mobile storage units 8x15 or 8x10 delivered to your site. If you are remodeling your home or office or need to store merchandise and inventory at your business, you need to call Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage. We deliver, pick up, and store it for you. It's that easy and there's no need to send your business out of town when your mobile storage needs can be met right here with people you know. Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage is located in Pitt County on B. Stokes Road. It's a well-secured facility with a living manager. Fixed units range from 5 feet by 10 feet to 40 feet by 40 feet. We store boats, cars, anything you need. We are Pirate Supporting Pirates. Call Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage today at 321-2300. That's 321-2300. Carolina News Update on 103.7 WTIB. 
Good morning, 21 degrees at 824 on this Wednesday morning. I'm Lindsay Fry with your WITN News update. A local man and his friends were forced into the cold this morning after his house caught fire last night. Fire crews in Duplin County rushed to a house fire in Pink Hill on Highway 41 right around 4 o'clock this morning. We talked to Duplin County Emergency Manager Reed Sutherland, who says a man and his friends escaped the fire and fortunately no one was hurt. They've already found what sparked the blaze. They say it was an electrical furnace. The house is now deemed unlivable and the Red Cross is assisting the homeowner. A Martin County man is describing the frightening moments as he was run over in a store parking lot, allegedly by his girlfriend. 32-year-old David Hall Jr. of Robertsonville has a shattered elbow and a scraped knee after getting hit by a car on Monday afternoon. Hall says 27-year-old Crystal Council drove him and her two children, ages 5 and 8, to Greenville so he could go to work. Hall says they were arguing about jobs and gas money. That's when she put him out at Logan's Roadhouse parking lot. Hall says he broke up with Council and started walking away. That's when he heard the sound of a car speeding towards him. Witnesses stopped counsel from getting away. Counsel now faces uh, charges of assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill, child abuse, and reckless driving. A mother and daughter have been indicted by a grand jury for their part in the death of of an elderly of their elderly aunt. A Carter County grand jury indicted Rhonda Hagen on a number of charges, including murder, second-degree arson, and first-degree kidnapping. Her mother, Phyllis Williams, was also indicted on multiple charges, including accessory after the fact of murder. Deputies say Hagen murdered her great-aunt Goldie Hall back in 2012 and then burned her home. The 90-year-old woman's body was found a week later outside of Newport. Authorities say the woman was killed over a money dispute. The two will appear in Superior Court next month. Well, that's your WITN News update. I'm Lindsay Fry. Part of cloudy today, and it's going to stay cold all day. Temperatures will only get up to about 31 degrees today. It's uh, We're starting the day now. It was about uh, 20 a minute ago. Now it's up to 23. So it's, the warm-up is beginning, but it's not going to get too warm. In fact, it's not going to get warm at all. May not hit freezing today. That's the forecast. And then very cold tonight, clear and 15 overnight. Hopefully we'll get some um, some sunshine today, and it'll melt some of this stuff off the roads. But we could have problems here for the next couple of days, particularly in the uh, outlying areas and um, on bridges and low-lying areas, things like that. 15 tonight, 40 tomorrow, 15 again tomorrow night, and uh, only back up to about 32 for freezing on Friday. It's a 23 right now. Uh, Tom Lamprick just texts me and says that there, there are still some snow flurries around Ironwood this morning. Got a report up from around Elizabeth City. Got a report about uh, two inches in Plymouth, two inches up around uh, Windsor and uh, Williamston. And we were told that around Elizabeth City this morning, we had a text from somebody that they got about three inches of snow up there. So driving is treacherous this morning. Be careful. News and weather this hour. A service of Homer Tire and the Homer Tire real estate team. And Homer, of course, is the guy to call if you uh, need to sell your home. And if you want to sell it quickly, call Homer. Here's the number, 758-H-O-M-E. He brought more prospects to the table last year than anybody. He sold more homes last year than anybody. He's the guy you want to deal with. He uses all of the uh, the current techniques. You know, the, the selling homes has changed. The real estate home market is a different industry than it was, and uh, you need somebody that kind of gets the technology and the tracking of all the prospects and the stuff that Homer and his team do. Uh, call Homer and list your home with him at 758-H-O-M-E. You can visit him online, guaranteedsellnc.com. Here's the reason everybody loves Homer. Number one, he won't hold you to a contract if you want to get out of it and not deal with him for any reason at any time. Deal's over. Uh, you won't want to, but you know if, if you should, uh, the, he's not going to hold you to a six-month contract. And the big one, of course, is the Homer Tire Guarantee. If you... Um, if, if you need to uh, sell your home quicker than Homer can get a, a buyer in there uh, and you don't get the price or whatever, Homer will buy the home himself from you so you can move on. Now, that's a heck of a benefit in dealing with a real estate agent. Call Homer Tire today at 758-HOME, 758-4663, or visit him online at guaranteedsellnc.com. All right, coming up, the, uh, the puppet lady has a big show coming up. This Saturday, and if you've got no plans with your kids, 
You need to uh, plan to uh, listen to the interview coming up. The Puppet Lady, we've had her on before. She's terrific. This is one of her songs and one of her videos. A lot of educational stuff for kids. This is the uh, Wash Your Hands song. As we go to break, the uh, the Puppet Lady coming up. It's a new year here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. And as you can see, our lot is overloaded. We must sell 100 new cars in January. Choose from our biggest selection of the year, over 400 new Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram vehicles, and over 100 certified pre-owned vehicles. Don't miss our New Year liquidation event here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. Think you're in good hands with your insurance company? The same people who held your hand when you bought your policy might try to wash their hands of you the moment you file a claim. We'll help you take matters into your own hands by making sure you know your rights and we'll fight to get you the compensation you may deserve. At Hardy & Hardy, we're serious about seeking justice on behalf of our clients. Count on Hardy & Hardy, protecting the rights of the seriously injured. Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage Company will deliver a storage unit to your home or business today. Stallings Storage is the only local company providing mobile storage units 8x15 or 8x10 delivered to your site. If you are remodeling your home or office or need to store merchandise and inventory at your business, you need to call Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage. We deliver, pick up, and store it for you. It's that easy and there's no need to send your business out of town when your mobile storage needs can be met right here with people you know. Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage is located in Pitt County on B. Stokes Road. It's a well-secured facility with a live-in manager. Fixed units range from 5 feet by 10 feet to 40 feet by 40 feet. We store boats, cars, anything you need. We are Pirate Supporting Pirates. Call Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage today at 321-2300. That's 321-2300. No matter where you go in Eastern Carolina, there's sure to be an attractive and always clean Trade Wilco Hess station nearby. For the absolute lowest prices on gas, groceries, and travel necessities, stop at any of the Trade Wilco Hess stations throughout Eastern Carolina. Keep your eyes on the road, but remember to look for the green and white Hess sign. The best part? No one supports the ECU Pirates more. So when you're on the go, it's Trade Wilco. All right, welcome back. Well, Steve Perry on his birthday there. Thank you, Coach. That's good stuff. All right, it's uh, 28 in front of 9 o'clock. Coming up on Saturday here in Greenville, the Puppet Lady has uh, one of her uh, annual shows. It's become kind of a tradition in Greenville. If you uh, know anything about this lady, you know that she is a favorite of kids all over the region. And she is here this morning. We, uh, you know, her name is Anna Pridgen, but we just call her the Puppet Lady. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you too. Yeah. Now, uh, we got, is, is that on? Yeah. Everything good? Okay. Uh, and you got a friend with you also. Yeah. You forgot to introduce me. <laughs> I'm Vern. She's got one of her puppets with This is Vern. <laughs> now, do you make your puppets? Um, uh, no, I actually have the shark puppet we had made. It's yeah. like our character right, and, um, right. and the dog puppet. But the other puppets I actually get from Axtell. He's amazing. He yeah. makes all kind of inno innovative puppets that um, blow smoke and, <laughs> and um, yeah. By the way, for the, for the radio audience, Vern is very colorful. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Henry. I think you're colorful. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now, uh, you can see uh, why uh, the kids uh, love the puppet lady. But for people who don't know what you do, and, of course, you got your show coming up on, right. on so your big annual show coming up on Saturday. And, by the way, stand by because I'm going to give away. She, uh, Anna brought me uh, two family four packs of tickets to give away here at the end of the interview. Guess yes. Stand by to dial in, and you can win tickets, free tickets to the show coming up at 4 o'clock on Saturday afternoon. But uh, uh, what's your background? Tell people who don't know what you do, uh, how you got into this, and, and what it is you actually do. Well, Henry, I actually first um, got into using puppets when I was doing my internship at East Carolina University in the child development department. I had to do my first circle time, and I was so scared and I found this shark puppet and I pulled this shark puppet out and this little girl that had never joined circle time came from across the room and she sat down right in front of me and I said wait a minute there is something to these puppets they're you know magical yeah. amazing yes you guys are amazing Vern <laughs> and and that was my kind of aha moment and that yeah. was back in 1997 that gives my age away you're old stop and um <laughs> but I, that's when I realized that these puppets they are an, a, a great tool for teaching. Yeah. And so that started my lifelong passion and collection. I have quite a few. And are you a teacher? I was a teacher. Yeah. I taught everything from special ed to kindergarten to yeah. preschool intervention. And So that was your education. Yes. But now you do this for a living. I do because yeah. um, I love it so much that yeah. um, it was my favorite part of the day. And I love teaching other teachers how to use puppets in their classroom. So they And can. you do, uh, for people who don't know, I mean, uh, you have a website. Yes. What's the website? Um, PuppetLadyProducts with a S dot com. And you can buy videos. Yes. And I guess you can buy tickets to the show. Um, yes, it'll take you to the link to yeah. buy the tickets to okay. the show. Yeah. And what else is on the website? Um, puppets, of course. And some, some of the videos, which I played a minute <laughs> Videos. Ago. Oh, we made some fun videos with some wonderful kids and Sam the Shark. Yep, Sam the Shark. <laughs> and about not picking your nose and washing <laughs> your hands and all all. All of um, our songs, my husband does all the music, and, and they so all it's came. all original music. Everything's original, and the stories are original. And our book, Sam the Shark and the Germs. and, and My um, grandson loves, loves Sam the Shark. He's, he, that's the, the, every, all the kids love the shark, don't they? He, they love the bird, too. Yes, they love the bird, too. <laughs> but <laughs> Sam the Shark's a great character because he's always learning a lesson, you know? Yeah. And, and, and most of the stories came from my children and um, and my classrooms and I, yeah. I just wanted to teach something so I made up a story so that they could learn it you know you uh, you also do a great summer camp yes and uh, how many kids come to that camp all the kids every kid <laughs> in town's in that camp my grandson's and then you do a show at the end of the week oh it's and amazing and all the kids are in the show they it and really my four, do my four year old grandson did his first acting in your, in your he play he was great yeah. he was holding that club <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was <laughs> So, they so amazed the, me, those yeah. kids. But you have kids from all ages. From, how, from how many ages. Kids, how many kids come to your summer camp? I would say about 60, we, you know, maybe yeah. some, because we have, um, the ages are four to eight, but we have many that come and help even after, you know, they've kind of mm -hmm. aged out that love doing it and right. they help us with the little ones. And those kids blow my mind with, with what they can do. And we have so much fun because we just play and imagine. And at the same time, we're learning this show. And in two weeks, just practicing that show an hour a day, yeah. they put it on. <laughs> and then and then they're so proud because they have a sense of accomplishment because yeah. all the parents and the grandparents come to the show. That's right. But and it's great. Uh, and and um, they're so fun to watch. Yeah. yeah. They they, yeah. they really blow my mind with what they can do in two weeks. All right. Tell us about uh, what you're doing on Saturday. You've got your big annual oh show. And uh, where is it going to be? It's going to be at Reimage Church Auditorium. Which is a great venue, by oh, the way. It's wonderful. Really, we love really nice, Reimage. Uh, is very... And, G generous to let us use that's that's on fire tower road yes on fire yeah. tower road right mm -hmm. and, and uh, so what's the show this time going to be well this show is all about Vern. pay attention um using your calm words when you get upset about something and working things out with one another not whining and crying i do not whine uh okay Vern. <laughs> <laughs> i'll remember that and um, so basically using your calm words when you get upset, working things out with each other, believing the best. And, yeah. and um, the, the main key of the show is stop, breathe, and talk when we get upset. So kind of taking a break, taking some deep breaths, and using your calm voice instead of um, 
screaming. Yes, instead of screaming. <laughs> so, so what if people are listening or watching right now and they're thinking, you know, I, I don't know if my kids are right for that. What, right. what, what age do you really uh, target here? I would say age two to eight, but really. I mean, a one-year-old can enjoy the show, and um, adults really? enjoy the show. Yeah. I mean, obviously, they might go in and out, but... Um, well, I, think, I think it's fun for the adults, because it's fun to watch the kids react to. They the, do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I enjoy it. Yeah. I mean, I'm an adult, of course, right. but... Um, and I'll tell you, they get stuff from your shows, because I'll, I'll tell you a story. I don't know if I've ever told you this before, but... You know, uh, our our grandson, it, like all kids, and uh, you know, when he would come to our house, I don't know about when he was at uh, his mom with his mom and dad, but he, you know, you, you make him brush his teeth. Um, he, you know, kids don't want to brush your teeth, right? Uh, believe me, that's uh, where that that story and, came from. And uh, <laughs> and so we would, and and so he. Uh, he went to your show, and you had a you had a skit on why you should brush your teeth. Yes. And what was it? The ch -ch 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 -ch, the brush the, your teeth song. Yeah, the brush your teeth song. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, he was he was willing to brush his teeth because we would sing the brush your teeth song. You know, Henry, it's amazing what that story actually came from because my son at that time would not brush his teeth. My, my husband and I would be like, "It's your turn tonight. It's your yeah, turn this right. morning." And that's where that. And you know, after he went to that show, the same thing. Yeah. He was like. Um, Mom, I, I don't want that uh, that that tooth decay. <laughs> you yeah, know, right, right. Me. Then you go, Mom, tooth decay has hair because we, <laughs> we had spray painted this black puppet. But um, it, it really, you know, we use the story to teach the concept, right. the puppets and the magic to keep the kids engaged, and then we always use the song to reinforce the concept so they can go mm -hmm. home. Like um, this year's song is. Um, uh, there's one about when I get mad, and there's one that goes, Don't whine, whine, whine all the time, time, time. Talk to me, you're not a baby. Just use your calm, calm words. Don't be absurd. Talk to me, you're not a baby. That's great. And we sing that all the time when my son starts whining, just at least a little bit. They'll actually <laughs> sing it to each other. I have three boys, and we're a little crazy. But um. and what a great way to deal with children that age with uh, and enter, you know by entertaining it rather than you know say, stop whining, because what's the other alternative? You, you know, stop that whining back there. That's right. That's right. It, it does it in a fun and yeah, right. um, yeah. and they, a way that yeah. they remember. You've hit on something. You it, hit on something. It's, it's really just hit. so I'm yeah. I'm so blessed because I love doing it and the yeah. kids they make it so worth it. Well, you you're know? talented. There's no doubt about it. I, what about I, me, Henry? Yeah, you're very talented, Vern. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just in it for the worms. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so worms. it's uh, four o'clock. Uh, it lasts about an hour, hour and a half. Yes, yes, and Mr. Darson and Miss Nusha will be there. All the it lasts about an hour and fifteen minutes, and then we're gonna have a meet and greet time with the puppets. You can actually come up and meet the puppets and meet Mr. Darson and slide whistle with Miss Nusha and. And we're going to have a, a kind of a surprise this year. We're going to have like a frozen snowman and theme, and we're going to melt it away, and we're going to go to Africa, kind of like in that um, movie with a little bit of movie Frozen. So it's going right, to be so, fun. Uh, oh, and a lot of kids have seen the movie Frozen, including yes. my grand. So they'll, they'll, I know. We they'll, love, we <laughs> they'll get that. They'll get that. All right, so it's the Puppet Lady, her annual show, coming up this Saturday, the 25th of, uh, of January, 4 o'clock at Reimage Church. Tickets are uh, five dollars before. Well, today, if you buy them actually, today. we're going to extend that to Friday. They can buy them online for, for five bucks. For five bucks. But um, uh, if you if you get there and you buy them at the door, they're eight bucks. They're eight dollars. Yeah. So buy them today or yes. buy them online or win them right now. You want to give some away? Yes, absolutely. All right. All right, we've got two tickets here. They're both good for a family of four. So we're going to send two families of four to the Puppet Lady Show right now. Call us. We're going to take callers number five and six. Michael, get ready. The uh, the studio line, of, as always, 561-8255. 561-8255. Caller number five. Caller number six. Call right now. 561-8255. Lines are already lighting up, but call. Keep calling. 561-8255. Uh, two family four-packs for the Puppet Lady Show coming up on Saturday. Good to see you. Good to see you. And I good to see question. you, Vern. What's your question, Vern? Are you a Democrat or a Republican? Uh, I'm. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you after the show. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Just I was going to say he's not as dumb as he looks. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> Burn. Good to see you. Anna, Great to see you, Henry. Anna Pridgen, the puppet lady here this morning. All right, we'll be right back, and I'll tell you who wants to keep dialing. 
We may not. We may still have uh, some tickets to give away. Five six one eight two five five. We'll be right back. Imagine getting a new car and paying less than what you're paying right now. You can at Greenville Toyota's Trade Up Pay Less Sales event. Start the new year off right in a new Toyota with payments as low as $148 a month on the all-new 2014 Corolla. And new Camrys, just $20 more, now $168 a month. And 0% financing on 10 new Toyota models. Plus, we'll help you get the financing you need. And remember, every new Toyota comes with a Greenville Toyota Advantage. Trade up and pay less. Stop making those high car payments on that old car. Rush to Greenville Toyota today. At the law firm of Hardy & Hardy, we don't simply take cases. We take your case personally. I've been in several car accidents, and each time I've turned to Hardy & Hardy for help. They are honest, hardworking, and dependable. I've been satisfied with the conclusion of each case, and I would recommend Wayne and Charles Hardy to my family and friends. You matter to us. Protecting the rights of the seriously injured. Unlock the best life has to offer for generations to come. Introducing the Legacy Membership exclusively at Ironwood Golf and Country Club. As a Legacy member, you'll not only enjoy all the benefits of an active, family-friendly lifestyle, your children and grandchildren will enjoy membership status as well. Belonging to Ironwood is remarkable. Sharing it with your entire family is even better. Become a Legacy member today, only at Ironwood Golf and Country Club. Golf at its finest, life at its fullest. Top Dog Academy is Eastern North Carolina's complete dog training facility. Top Dog provides an excellent environment for dogs of all ages with training services and work week daycare. Top Dog is located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bells Fork, and features a comfortable, healthy environment and a spacious facility for daycare and a brand new, beautiful facility for training. Call 752-8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy, where we know dogs. Pepsi. Born here, raised by Panthers fans everywhere. Raise your Pepsi for a chance to win the ultimate fan experience. See specially marked 18 packs or visit PepsiRaisedHere.com to learn more. Many people in eastern North Carolina suffer from diabetes. The question is, can the disease be managed before it causes harm? Are there lifestyle changes that can help prevent it in the first place? And can a health system really make a difference? At Vident Health, we're empowering people with tools and resources to detect and manage chronic disease. Can diabetes education and management help members of your family lead healthier lives? The answer is definitely yes. Are you playing 4th of July music because you're wishing it was the 4th of July? It's not the 4th of July. <laughs> All right, you can stop calling. Our lines went off the hook. Our switchboard went crazy for the uh, Puppet Lady tickets. We uh, we do have our winners. Uh, Brian Magnan. That looks like a Kinston number, Michael. It's Brian from Kinston. Uh, and uh, Mac Hodges. Is that Mayor Mac Hodges? from Wa The mayor of Washington? The uh, winners of the Puppet Lady tickets. And uh, again, if you uh, didn't get tickets to the Puppet Lady show here for free this morning, I just gave away two family four packs. Um, then uh, you can um, you can go online and buy them. I, don't, I, I didn't ask her what the uh, website was. Let's see if it's on here. I don't have the puppet. I don't have the uh, the, the link. But you just um, oh here it is. Itickets.com. You can go to itickets.com. She says you can purchase tickets for $5 before Friday, and then after uh, after Friday when you buy them at the door, it's going to be $8 a ticket for the um, for the Puppet Lady and Friends coming up this weekend at Reimage Church, 4 o'clock show. All right, stand by. More to give away because we uh, still haven't qualified anybody for the big uh, home show giveaway this morning. And we're going to be doing that in just a couple of moments. And uh, somebody's going to be qualified to win a 
kitchen remodeling project for their home worth twenty thousand dollars. We're going to give away a free ticket also to you if you qualify this morning to uh, Home Home Fest fourteen, which is now coming uh, in a little bit over a month, March first at the Greenville Convention Center. The uh, 103.7, Star 94.3, our sister station, and the Greenville Home Builders Association. Once again, presenting uh, Home Fest 14, the uh, the biggest home and garden show east of Raleigh. And I um, was talking to Hank and some of the guys about that yesterday. Uh, sales on that are going very well. If you want an expo booth, you should uh, call the radio station today. 355-8822 is our switchboard number. And uh, Hank or uh, Jennifer Little or somebody can help you in uh, getting a booth in the show. Uh, we've got a really good uh, advertising package that goes with that. And so um, call in today and uh, get a booth. And then stand by just a couple minutes. We'll give you a chance to uh, win a ticket to the show. And you'll be qualified to uh, win the kitchen as well. First, let's check some sports headlines. Uh, McGee didn't make it back, did he? McGee had to run to a meeting at 80. He said he might be back, but he's not, so I'll check the uh, sports here. Let's check some sports headlines brought to you by Sudden Link this morning. Number 20, Pitt drilled Clemson in the ACC last night. 46, uh, I'm sorry, 76 to 43. The Pitt Panthers now 5-1 and one in the ACC. See why no one cares about the ACC anymore, Coach? Pittsburgh, Syracuse, are you serious? Who cares? The best teams in the uh, league. Pitt is now 5-1. and one. Number three, Michigan State. And number 14, Kentucky also won last night. Nine of 25 teams in uh, – nine – I'm sorry, nine top 25 teams in action tonight, including Duke and Miami, uh, a game you can hear right here on 103.7. I believe airtime tonight is uh, 6.30. And a tip-off tonight is 7.30 for Duke-Miami. A matchup of two three and one Conference USA women's teams tonight, as uh, East Carolina and uh, Heather Macy, her ladies are back at home hosting Rice tonight. I might go out there and watch that, Coach. Yeah, I'm going. You want to go with me? Uh, absolutely. Let's go watch that game tonight. Yeah, let's do that. We we have fun. It's fun. Pirates uh, Pirates can t- can move to sixteen and two tonight with a win and extend their home winning streak to twenty three straight games. Heather Macy doing a heck of a job, isn't she? Tip-off tonight set for 7 o'clock at Menji's Coliseum. Come on out and support the Lady Pirates tonight. Um, you're not supposed to call them Lady Pirates anymore, are you? I always do that. I'm old school. Uh, what, why not? I don't know. Huh. Sexist, they say. Oh, okay. Three and one, Conference USA uh, tonight. East Carolina Rice. That, should, that could be one of the best games in Menji's this year, so come out and watch it. East Carolina men back at home tomorrow night after their road swing in Florida. And they've got Tulane tomorrow night at 7 o'clock, so I plan to come out the next two nights here in the Coliseum and support the Pirates. And a little football recruiting news for you. After hosting 20-plus prospects last weekend, East Carolina getting three verbal commitments. Six-foot uh, defensive back Corey Sargent, six-foot wide receiver Dre Massey, both out of the state of South Carolina giving verbal commitments to uh, Ruffin McNeil and the coaches. Georgia wide receiver Market Boston also committed. What a great name. Is it, is it Marquee? Markey? M-A-R-K-I-K-E-I. Markey Boston. Those three commitments bring the uh, total commitments to East Carolina to 16. Not, a, not an official commitment yet, but we talked about this last hour. Uh, Sean Stan Cavage, a quarterback out of uh, Cardinal Gibbons High School in Raleigh, reportedly giving a verbal commitment last weekend in his home to uh, Ruffin McNeil and Lincoln Riley. But nothing has been official on that, no release on that yet. And, of course, the university can't talk about any of this anyway until recruiting is over. But uh, I'm excited about that because I know Sean Stankavage's father, Scott Stankavage, who played quarterback and was one of uh, UNC Chapel Hill's all-time great quarterbacks, uh, played in the 80s. And his mother was Sue, his mother is Sue Walsh, who was a U.S. Olympic swimmer and one of the best swimmers ever out of the uh, – probably the top female swimmer in the history of the ACC. So uh, Sean Stankavage got great uh, lineage, great athletic parents – and uh, word is he could be the quarterback of the future at East Carolina, so we're excited about that. McGee said he's going to be on campus this weekend. That's the rumor, so we'll see. 
Quicken Loans announced Tuesday it will team up with Warren Buffett and his company Berkshire Hathaway to offer $1 billion to the person who correctly predicts the winners of every game in the NCAA basketball tournament. $1 billion. Just how uh, uh, the uh, the qualified entrant who correctly predicts the winners will be paid in 40 annual installments of $25 million. What do you think, Coach? Is it possible to get every single team correct? Mike and I were just talking about that. I'm going to try. I think I can do it. Well, why not? Yeah. A I, billion dollars? What do you got to lose? I think I can do it. Probably doesn't cost you anything to enter. Yeah, I was about to ask you that. Might as well. All right, so there's our sports update. And um, sports this morning brought to you by Suddenlink. Let's see if I can get my Suddenlink uh, uh, script up here. I'm telling you, it's been that kind of morning. You know, while you're doing that, I was at the uh, ECU latest game this past Saturday against Louisiana Tech. Right. I was expecting a tight game. But I mean, Coach Macy, she she's just – She's she, too good, huh? I'm, I mean, they won by 31 points. You know, so yeah, I'm definitely going tonight, and I and I and I highly encourage everyone, everyone yeah. who can get there. People need go. to support please this go. women's basketball team because they're good. I mean, we could be looking at an NCAA team here. That would be neat. All right, our sports update brought to you by Suddenlink. If you are a Direct TV customer, there's something you should know. Uh, as of Tuesday of last week, the Weather Channel was dropped. And so you didn't have the weather channel as, as a result of the um, all the snow and everything yesterday and all the bad weather. Due to unresolved contract negotiations between DirecTV and the weather channel, that means you're missing out on important weather updates and programming. So there's no doubt you are, wait for it, disappointed. You're disappointed with that long-term satellite contract, and you can dump it now. And when you do, Suddenlink will give you a credit of three up to $300. Get Suddenlink's 30-day money-back guarantee and their We Promise guarantee. No contract required. All you got to do is bring your current satellite bill to the local satel- uh, uh, Suddenlink store. <coughs> Pardon me, which is here in Greenville is right next door to us here on Arlington Boulevard. And get Suddenlink's best product lineup by switching up today. Call Suddenlink. 866-432-1184. 866-432-1184. Or uh, visit suddenlink.com. And uh, you got a chance to uh, get uh, that great deal from Suddenlink, and you won't be disappointed. All right, let's take caller number five right now. 561-8255. 561-8255. Call us right now. I'm going to give you a ticket to Home Fest 14. And I'm going to also qualify you to win a kitchen, a brand new kitchen remodeling project worth over $20,000. Call us right now. The telephone number to call is um, 561-8255, 561-8255. And uh, we're going to give you a chance to win right now. You'll get a free ticket to Home Fest. And then you'll also be qualified for the drawing, which will take place around 4 o'clock on March 1st in the Greenville Convention Center. And uh, we want you to uh, to be a part of that and have a chance to win. We've got a great, great event coming up on March 1st. You're going to receive new kitchen cabinets from Garris Evans, new appliances from Ferguson, new flooring from Boyd's Carpet, new countertops from Aspen Tops East, and uh, from styling storage, you're going to get the mini storage outside. And then 24 Restore is going to come in. And they're going, to, uh, they're, going to, they're going to clean up everything and get you back in place. Let's go to the phones. Is it Keith? Heath? Heath, good morning. How are you? Are you there? Heath. Hello? Hey, Heath. Yes. All right, Heath, you are our uh, our fifth caller. Congratulations! You're uh, you won a ticket to Home Fest, and now you're going to be in the drawing for the uh, for the kitchen giveaway. What's your last name? From Kowser. Say it again. From Kowser. Wow, you like may have funky to... town house and an R on the end. Oh, okay. You get that, Michael? Okay, as long as Michael's got it. Where are you from, Heath? He's got... I'm uh, from Little Washington. All right, very good. All right, well you. Uh, 
you need to. I don't know if you got plans on March first, but you need to change them because you must be present to win. Absolutely, we're going to be there. we're going to be giving it away. You got a free ticket to come in, and um, and you'll you'll come in and you'll be part of the drawing around four o'clock. Uh, Bob Lacey from Bob and Sherry from uh, Star ninety four point three is going to do the drawing for us, and uh, you'll be in the drawing with all the other qualifiers. And if you win, you'll you, you we're going to come into your house and tear up your kitchen and build you a new kitchen. Sounds fantastic. That wouldn't be bad, would it? No, it wouldn't be bad at all. <laughs> all right. All right, Heath, we got everything we need from it, Michael? All right, we got all your information. We'll be back in touch with you. Thank you, Heath. All right, very good. We ha- I don't know how many qualifiers are going to be, but last year we had uh, all the qualifiers. It was a great moment, to be honest with you. And we had uh, the drawing at 4 o'clock, and Mr. Haddock from here, here in Greenville won the kitchen. And uh, it was a terrific uh, thing because his wife had cancer, and she wasn't even able to be at the show. And uh, they got a brand-new kitchen. <laughs> Uh, as a result of uh, qualifying and then winning at Home Fest 13, but this is Home Fest 14. Got a qualifier every day coming up between now and March 1st, so your chance to win is still there. All right, folks, be careful out there today. You're not going to be much uh, uh, a melting away of the ice, it doesn't look like, and temperatures tonight way down in the teens. Temperatures today only up about 30 degrees, but uh, at least it's going to be clear. There's no more snow coming, but be careful. And we'll see you tomorrow.